Our next workout for December is going to be a 10, 20 speed and power. You are only working for 10 seconds at a time. So you want to get as heavy as a weight as you can do and you want to go as fast as you can. We will do this eight times as a straight set. So we're going to do one exercise eight times before moving on to the next exercise. The first exercise we're going to do is dumbbell snatch. You're going to grab a dumbbell. Um, this will work with a kettlebell. Most people have dumbbells, so we're going to start there. You're going to get a good hinge, pop your hips up, and let the weight kind of float above you. <laughs> if you're six foot four and have a short ba basement, I recommend doing this outside. <laughs> so again, just real fast through the hips, throw the dumbbell up and catch it. Maybe start light on the first week and work into the movement as the month progresses. If you have bad shoulders and shoulder pain, we don't recommend going overhead. We're going to do fast dumbbell curls. So again, you might want to go a little heavier since you're not going overhead. Um, and Steve's just going to do fast curls. Try to keep your body still. Get that weight up. Good. We're going to do four rounds on one side and then four rounds on the other side of our snatches or our curls. After we do eight rounds of those, we're going to rest and then we're going to do plank jacks. For the plank jack, you make these easier by elevating them. So there is no knee version for this. You'll need to get your hands up on something, your couch, chair, whatever. Feet are going to go in and out. Once you're in your plank position, try to keep your weight over your hands. That is how you keep your shoulders in a happy position. So you're going to do 10 seconds just as fast as you can and then rest for 20 seconds. Okay, then we're going to do that eight times. After you do your plank jacks eight times, you will rest and we will move into our next exercise, which is jump squats. It's only 10 seconds. We're going to explode. You're going to sit down and do a good squat and explode up. Good. Good job. If you have really bad knees, you do not have to do the jump. You can just do squats. Do them as fast as you can. You can add a little weight to it too. Some people just can't handle the impact, but have strong legs. You can add a dumbbell. After our jump squats, we're gonna rest. So we're gonna do eight rounds of those and we're gonna rest and do flutter kicks. With the flutter kicks, you make these harder by going to the floor. Remember, it is only 10 seconds. You're gonna keep your head on the ground, ribs down. You're gonna go fast. 10 seconds as low as you can. Perfect, and just kick them up higher to make them a little easier. Awesome. After our flutter kicks, our last exercise is going to be sprints. Going to be sprints. We're going to do 10 seconds at a time. Let me tilt this up because Steve is very tall. Okay, there we go. Just in place. Let's sprint in place. It's just going to make it easier to get hella speed. Just go as fast as you can because it's only 20 seconds or 10 seconds. It's not even 20 seconds. So go quick, sprint, and then rest. And then we'll do that eight times. 